Hi children, hope you're all well. Um, today we're going to do some work on patterns. Um, we haven't um, done patterns for a while, um, so I wanted to just see if you can remember how we can make patterns and how we finish patterns. Um, to start with, we're going to do, um, we're going to sing a song that we have uh, sung before to see if you can um, finish the patterns. Now, last time we had this song, we had the pictures in front of us as well. Um, but this time you've just got to do it with your listening. So um, let's see if you can listen really carefully to the songs and finish the patterns. And they're all colours, so it should be quite easy for you. Um, so let's give it a go. I'm going to sing the, the songs. Try and sing along if you, if you know them, if you can remember it. Okay, here we go. Here's a little pattern, can you see? What the next colour's likely to be? A red one, then a blue one, red again. Blue, one red one, and what comes then? Okay, so we had... A red one, then a blue one, red again, blue one, red one, what comes then? So we had blue, uh, red, blue, red, blue, red. What comes after the red? Blue. Well done if you said blue. And after the blue would be red again. Well done. Okay, let's do next one. Here's a little pattern. Can you see? What the next colour's likely to be? A black one and a white one, black, white, black. Will this pattern then stay on track? Okay, so we had a black one and a white one, black, white, black. What comes after the black? Black, white, black, white, black, and then white. And after that we'd have black. Well done. Good if you got that one. Okay, let's do the next one. Here's a little pattern. Can you see what the next colour's likely to be? Green and yellow first, then red and green. What's the pattern? What does it mean? Okay. So, green and yellow first, then red and green. So, we've got green, yellow, red, green. Green, yellow, red, green. What comes after the green? Green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red. Well done if you got that one. And after the red would be back to green again. Because remember, when we do a pattern, it, it, it goes on, it can go on forever. Okay, and we try and have, um, we can, you, in a pattern, you can have lots and lots of different things. But uh, when we're doing them, we try and stick to maybe two things or three things coming one after the other. Or you might have two of one and one of something, stuff like that. Right. OK, let's do another one. This is the last one. Here's a little pattern. Can you see what the next colour is likely to be? Orange, red and yellow, can you guess? Orange, red and what comes next? Okay, so, orange, red, yellow. Orange, red, yellow. Well done if you said yellow. Orange, red, yellow. So in that pattern, there were three different colours and they came one after the other. Orange, red, yellow. Okay. So, you can, as I said, you can have lots of different, I'm going to do some patterns on my board. I haven't got lots of different colours, unfortunately, so I'm going to do shapes. So I could have a pattern like this, a square, or more, yeah, square, and a, and a triangle, and a square, and a triangle. After my triangle would be a, another square, and then after my square would be a triangle. So that's one way of doing a pattern. Or you could have three things. You could have circle, rectangle, square, circle, rectangle. Oh, no, sorry, I've done a square there. Circle, rectangle, square. So you could do that. You could have three things but put, um, 
you could have two things but put have doubles of things so you could have circle circle triangle circle circle triangle what come after the triangle circle circle triangle circle circle and then if you wanted to do one more it would be triangle you could have three things and have doubles so you could have circle square square triangle circle square square triangle circle square square triangle okay so this is the pattern here this bit that's the bit that's got to repeat circle square square triangle circle square square triangle circle square square triangle up here it's just these bits that i've got to repeat okay so you've got to look carefully in a pattern you could have a really complicated one that was circle triangle triangle square circle circle triangle square circle circle triangle i'm getting confused now circle let me start that again my brain's not working right so you could have circle triangle triangle square circle triangle triangle square circle triangle triangle square so that is the pattern that you're repeating circle triangle triangle square so i've got double in there as well that is a it is similar to the one I've done. <laughs> I was thinking that's exactly the same. Not exactly the same as the one above, but it's quite similar. So you can have as many things as you want in a pattern, but remember that the more things you add, it can get a little bit more complicated. So you could do just have two things, but you could double them. So you could have circle, circle, square, square, circle, circle, square, square. Like that, that could be your pattern. Okay. So try not to have too many things in the pattern because it can get. Um, just a little bit complicated sometimes, okay? But it's good to challenge ourselves. So what I would like you to do now is have a look around your house. Now, don't help yourself to anything um, without mum and daddy's permission. It might be something that you find in your house or in the garden. Um, and I want you to make some repeating patterns. So it might be that you use, if you've got some Lego, you might want to do it with Lego, a blue square, blue square, and a red square pattern like that or you might want to do it with you could do it with um toys particular toys you could have teddy teddy car teddy teddy car or teddy car teddy car teddy car something like that or you could do it um in the garden with different size leaves a big leaf and a, uh, a big leaf and a little leaf anything like that um, and try and do a few and then maybe what you could do as a challenge is to start a pattern and then see if somebody in your house could finish the pattern for you or, or continue the pattern for you okay so that's just a little uh, activity for you to do this morning all right can't wait to see them send me lots of pictures if you can all right bye <laughs>